even we're surrounded by coyotes. I can't believe we've been shot on and thrown up on in less than a week. Fucking Bob. Bob just showed up on somebody else's boat. First question, why did we want to go to Baja? That's a great question. <laughs> a little bit of FOMO. It's kind of like a shoulder season and we didn't know what to do uh, before our big trip up to Canada this summer. Why not go somewhere new? So here we are in Baja. I love sand and I just love the water, but honestly I don't. I heard there's mountain biking down there and that's what sold me. Just uh, a couple trails spotted and hopefully we'll hit them eventually. Now that we've both agreed Baja is our next destination, it's time to prepare. And what better way than a trip to Costco for too much stuff that does not fit in the van. And of course, dog food, though Penelope would eat anything we gave her. Evan, on the other hand? I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but it's probably gonna happen. So, since we're heading to the land of sand, we thought it was probably a good idea to get our hands on some Max tracks because we don't have any. So we asked Evan's mom if we could borrow hers and... She said yes, we could borrow. She said yes. However, we don't have a roof rack and uh, these are not small. So that means that we're gonna need to find a place for these inside the van, as expected. <laughs> this is not as easy as we wanted it to be, but I think we're making progress and secure it with bungee cords to these little clips. <laughs> Look, it's in. Don't think it's gonna budge. Now let's see if the rest of our bins are gonna fit under here. hitting the road. New cam. However, first stop, <laughs> Phoenix. Because you know, we need to go pick up our moonshade, maybe a paddle board. I need a bathing suit <laughs> and food. However, we can't fit anything else in this van. So I'm not sure how much food we'll get. <laughs> we also don't want to cause any trouble at border crossing food. had a big bag for the one bathing suit bottom I bought. It's mine, I know. <laughs> Good All right, so up here, I'm gonna just prop myself up on your van. There's a little flat spot right behind this clearance light, and that's where I put the first one. Sweet! Right on. Uh, we are ready to go. There's no more living space left in here, but... <laughs> You're gonna have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel I need to take a my coffee cup to go and I'm gonna hit the road tonight now my wheels in motion and my we're not in Mexico yet but the sand is for real. If you've ever wondered how, how dunes are created, it's with wind. We happen to be here on the day that they're deciding to uh, re-beautify themselves. Here I go! Today is the day we go to Mexico. I'm team cheerleader. Melanie's got anxiety. Um, so <laughs> I'm designated team cheerleader for the beginning of this trip until she um, realizes everything's okay. You'd think I'd never been out of the country. Don't speak a lick of Spanish. Um, 
Both are untrue. <laughs> it should be fun. This is uh, Penelope's third country she's going to be entering, so she's going to be wild on the beaches by the end of this video. All right, we got one thing left to do in the States before crossing the border, and that is turning this into this. I mean, it's so different. Yeah. The border crossing experience was unlike what we expected, as in it wasn't much of an experience at all. <laughs> So that was a little confusing because it's nothing like the Canadian US border where you go up to like a uh, a booth, an attendant. We you haven't get... yet. Are we, I mean, do you think it's over? Let's go make sure it's over. Okay, regardless. The FMM is like right out of the gate. No one tells you anything. Yeah, so even inside I couldn't find it. So we got our car searched not really he we opened the door he looked in one cabinet it was fine no he just asked actually, where all these pictures yeah were. we have all those pictures hanging on the wall and he's like where's this oh and how about here what about here <laughs> he's like this is california because we're entering through california right now this is the center zone just go caliexo Calix this one yeah caliexo i think it's calexico <laughs> isn't that gonna put us back out no okay so now centro they make these yeah go left what did you oh, we need to find a tell cell. I'll tell you guys a story in a second. We need to get our bearings. <laughs> we made it. We're in Mexico. Nelly, we're in Mexico. Bienvenidos a Mexicali. It's right there. So, long story short, it turns out that was the only point for border crossing. So now. It's time to go run some errands. I'm gonna go into Soriana Hyper Supermarket by myself because we need to build up some trust first before we leave the van unattended with the dog. And it's also very hot. And I'm making a smoothie. And Evan's making a smoothie. Anyway, we didn't come in with any veggies or fruits because we got stung by that a little bit on our way in from Canada into the US. We didn't want that to happen again. We decided we'd just buy it here plus I suspect it'll be much, much cheaper here. Let's see what we go we can go find in Soriana. Okay. Oh, and we've got a smoothie. The groceries. 661, what'd you get? Grocery selection at Sonora was not great for 132. No, that's six dollars and sixty-one cents. That's six dollars? Yeah. Oh my god. What? Well, I got a lot for six dollars. I got two avocados, three potatoes, two oranges, bananas, and this is the only broccoli they have. They didn't have any crabs. They right. didn't have kale. They didn't have Brussels. They, they 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 only had lettuce and broccoli and cilantro. Either everyone's grandma looks the same, or this was the same lady at the grocery store. <laughs> Everyone's grandma. Might look I like hope you heard grandma. that. <laughs> Your grandma looks great. Though. <laughs> my grandma's a different nationality. I'm just saying. My grandma's Colombian. As are my parents. Fun fact: I do speak Spanish very fluently. We haven't said this, but we went in through Mexicali, and that means that we're taking Highway Five South to hopefully our first stop, San Felipe, in that general area, maybe a little bit further south of that. Should be about a three hour drive and we're gonna take it slow, uh, stop as much as we want, see what's interesting along the way. I think it's gonna be nice. Double fisting. We stopped to get fruit, but instead we ended up with a smoothie, it's uh, strawberry, oh. plantain, almonds, and maybe five other ingredients that I don't recall. Stop it. Penelope's trying to no, break into trying her to eat snack her bag. She wants her own smoothie. This one is orange, pineapple, and guajawa, which I can't tell you exactly what guajawa is in English. Guava. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google it for you. We're doing great. <laughs> As our first day in Baja, I kind of wanted to have the 
Baja experience, so I tried taking us to a campsite on the beach. All right, well, what are we deciding? My little one, Melanie. Remember where we stopped? So in my dreamy state of wanting to go camp on the beach, we decided to go for it on a sandy offshoot from the main sandy dirt road um, that was supposed to be two-wheel drive capable. We got through the first sandy questionable area, then we got to another and hesitated more, so we stopped. We are moving along, I was, I was going at a great pace, you know, just kind of pushing the sand out of my tires way. Um, but then there was a bush, there was a turn around the bush, and you could tell it was soft. So we stopped right before the bush, and that was a giant mistake. Because it was the momentum that was getting us through the sand. And the moment that we stopped and decided to bail, we just dug ourselves into a deep, deep sandy hole. All right, we were um, pretty close to getting to a final camp spot. Got in the sand here. Decided to stop because it was getting kind of deep right there. Stopping may have not been the best decision. And now we're digging. Really trying to try and dig ourselves out. This is we'll see how it goes. Give some perspective. Yeah. We're gonna mark this one as a do not attempt. <laughs> We're gonna attempt to go for it. I expect us to have to dig a couple more times. Whew. I know. We've been at this for like two hours. We moved from I don't know if you can see that hole right there. That was where we were first stuck. Now we're over here and we're really stuck. Right now I'm just like getting uh, it dug out. So when we do get someone to tow us out of here, we can just kind of smoothly go out. We'll probably stay here tonight. Obviously this is not our ideal first day in Baja, but um, we're staying positive. I tried to look at the positive side of we have our entire home with us on wheels and we can sleep here um, and that I speak Spanish so I when we find somebody even though this road seems untraveled I can at least communicate with them and try and get us out um, but mostly my mind was focused on what do we need to do next. I feel like I am in a nightmare situation and I cannot believe that this is happening within less than 10 hours of being in Mexico. <laughs> the max tracks worked for um, the first few times. They stopped working. We're calling this place home for the night and maybe for ever. There's also a campground close to us, but there's like a billion campgrounds out here and who knows if anybody is there. The highway is not a crazy long distance from us, but there's no cell service at all. Uh, please subscribe and uh, like this video. We need to pay for the tow truck and find out what happens next week. I'm driving down.